Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. If you have Excel 365, the filter function makes it super easy to create a copy of a list, but only display specific items. In this video, I'll show you how to use it with more than one criteria. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. If you're not familiar with the filter function, I'll show you a simple example first. If you're already familiar with it, feel free to skip this first demo. This is a list of sales from Excellent Ice Cream for the first week in June. I need just the sales for chocolate, but rather than doing a traditional filter where you use the filter dropdowns, I want to display the filtered list in another part of the worksheet. I've converted the data in A1 to C22 into a table and I've named the table sales. Storing the data in a table isn't essential, but it does mean that if more rows of data are added, the formula won't need editing to include them. I'm going to go over to E4 and that's where I'm going to enter the formula. And as with any formula or function, start with an equal sign. And the name of the function is filter. And the filter function has two parameters plus a third optional one. The first parameter is the array, which is the range of cells or the name of the table that contains the data, which in this case is sales, then a comma. The second parameter, which they call include, is how you tell it what you want included. In this case, it's everything where flavor equals chocolate. Now, I could, if I hadn't made it into a table, specify A2 to A22. But because this is a table, I can put sales, open square brackets, double click on flavor and close square brackets. So that references the flavor column in the sales table equals and then in double quotes, chocolate. The third parameter I can either leave out because it's optional or whatever I put in there is what will be displayed in E4 if there are no matches. So I could actually put no matches. Close the brackets and enter. And what we now get is a dynamic array that shows just the items we want. And as I say, if I was to go and add another row of data at the bottom, so chocolate, let's say the 3rd of June 2022, and that was $5,000, then it automatically adds that to the list. But what if I wanted more than one criteria? In the second example, I want details of the sales of the premium flavors, which for excellent ice cream is chocolate and toffee. I've already put the formula in and I will talk you through it. The formula is to filter the sales table where flavor equals chocolate, then a plus sign and flavor equals toffee. Because this is a logical or, it's chocolate or toffee, I have used a plus sign between the two criteria. For a logical and, use an asterisk between the criteria. So here I'm displaying a list of orders where the flavor is chocolate and the value is more than $3,000. So it's a plus sign for logical or and an asterisk for logical and. Finally, I want to extract orders where the flavor was not a premium flavor. I could have used a long formula referencing every flavor except chocolate and toffee with a plus sign between each one. But it's a lot simpler to use this formula. So I've said filter the table called sales and the criteria is where the flavor does not equal chocolate or toffee. Well, I hope that's been useful. As always, thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm up to, you can subscribe to the channel and also sign up to my free newsletter. And you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day. Thank you.